Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about creating a pivot table using multiple sheets in Excel. So usually we create pivot tables using one single sheet, but we had a query. Is it possible to create pivot table using multiple sheets? Today, we're going to try the same. Before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now here, we have four different sheets of the sales. So, the first sheet is the West Zone, next is South Zone, East Zone and Central Zone. So, all this data belongs to one single sheet that is Superstore dataset. So, I have categorized or I have taken a part of the data which belongs to Central Region, South Region, West Region and East Region. Now, we are going to use all these four sheets and create one single sheet which is the pivot table of all the four sheets. Now, without further ado, let's start the process. Now, for that, we might want to use the shortcut key that is Alt D. Now, press P. Now this starts the pivot chart wizard. Now here we have to choose the option multiple consolidation ranges. Then click on next. And here you can see the pivot table is clicked by default. Now we'll go to next. Now here click I will create page fields or the pivot chart wizard will automatically create if you want that to create for you. Now click on next. Now here let's select the range now i'll be selecting the range add it now next we'll select east add it followed by that we have south and finally we have west now we will name these according to the regions so the first one will be west next one will be south next one will be east and the last one will be central Click on next and here select new worksheet and finish. And there you go. You have the pivot table here. Now you might want to change the summation value. So click anywhere on the pivot table and change it from count to sum. So that you have the summation of the total number of sales, subcategory sales and grand total of sales etc. Now here you can see all option. Now let's select central and you'll get the details of the central region. The grand total and the sales happening, quantity of sales, etc. Now here you can, you can see the furniture, office supplies, technology and the grand total all in one single sheet. Now let's get back to the original sheet. So as you can see, this is the original sheet and in the original sheet you can see various more categories which is the which is the shipment mode, customer, customer segment, country, city, state uh, and you also have uh, product name, subcategory, etc. So if you had added all these into this sheet, you can also create a separate option of adding minute details to your pivot table. So that is how the pivot table is created using multiple sheets. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you need the data set that we have used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.